Okay, uh, we spent some videos discussing hyperbolic tree function combinations, and here we have a problem where we're saying x is equal to the natural log of the tangent of pi over 4 plus theta over 2, and we're supposed to determine what is e to the x and what is e to the minus x, and then once we do that, we're supposed to show that if this is true, then the hyperbolic tangent of x, that must be equal to the tangent of theta. And during the first part of the problem, that should be pretty simple, because here we take e to the x here, we have e to this power here, but remember how logarithms work, e to the natural log of y, that's just y. So in this case here, e to the x, I take e to the, this power here, then I take e to this power here, and for this side of the equation, e to the natural log of this expression, it is just that expression. That's how natural logs work. So, by determining e to the x was pretty straightforward, not a problem there, and e to the minus x, that's just going to be the reciprocal of that. So here we have 1 over the tangent of pi over 4 plus theta divided by 2. Now, let's see, we're supposed to determine the hyperbolic tangent of x, and that would be this, subtract this, and then um, divide it by 2. Um, before we do that, we're adding angles together here, and not just any angle, we've got the tangent of pi over 4. If we had just this, the tangent of pi over 4, that's the tangent of 45 degrees, that's 1. So it's tempting um, to think of this. Remember how we add angles together for the tangent. The tangent of A plus B equals the tangent of A plus the tangent of B divided by 1 minus their product. And if A, say, is pi over 4, that's just going to be 1, and that's just going to be 1. So let's see what this gives us. The tangent of pi over 4 plus theta over 2, that will equal the tangent of pi over 4, which is 1, plus the tangent of theta over 2, divided by 1 minus and the tangent of pi over 4, that's 1, so the tangent of theta over 2. So if we use this identity on this, we say e to the x, that is going to equal this. 1 plus the tangent of theta over 2 divided by 1 minus the tangent of theta over 2, and e to the minus x is just that reciprocal. So we have 1 minus the tangent of theta over 2 divided by 1 plus tangent of theta over 2. And the hyperbolic sign, well, let's write it like this, 2 times the hyperbolic sign of x equals e to the x minus e to the minus x. So 
this is what e to the x is, and here's e to the minus f, so we can write 2 times the hyperbolic sine of x will equal this minus this. 1 plus the tangent of theta over 2 divided by 1 minus the tangent. Theta over 2 minus this 1 minus tangent theta over 2 1 plus the tangent theta over 2. Now we're going to have to multiply here but here we have 1, ta one tangent of theta over 2 1 minus that so when we do our multiplications, hopefully there'll be terms that drop out. Let's see. Let's try it. Um, this will be equal to this times this. 1 plus 2 times the tangent. Theta over 2 plus the tangent squared of theta over 2. then we are going to have minus this times this 1 minus 2 times the tangent theta over 2 plus minus the tangent squared theta over 2 divided by this times this and here we definitely have terms that drop out because here we have 1 minus plus that's gone and this will be minus the tangent squared theta over 2 and that is 2 times the hyperbolic sine of x and what does this come out to? 1 minus 1, there's a cancellation 2 times tangent theta over 2 minus with the minus sign that's plus so that's 4 times the tangent theta over 2 plus the tangent squared minus of these drop out and then down here we get this This is just the denominator, and that equals 2 times the hyperbolic sine of x, or divide both sides of the equation by 2, and we have this. Now, go back up to here when we were doing this. Suppose we had the tangent of b plus b. Then we would get 2 times the tangent of b divided by 1 minus the tangent squared of b. The squared. And that's what we have here. So this would be equal to the tangent of theta over 2 plus theta over 2, which equals, just adding these together, the tangent of theta. So here we have then the hyperbolic sine of x comes out being equal to the tangent of theta. So it worked out okay for us. Um, okay, anyway, that's it for this problem here. Uh, come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll see if we can work some more problems.